In the heart of Genoa City, tensions continue to rise as characters clash over past events, current crisis, and the future of their loved ones. At Crimson Lights, Nick and Mariah find themselves grappling with Sharon's erratic behavior. Mariah feels uneasy about checking Sharon's medications, but Nick insists that they need answers to help her. Mariah, realizing time is of the essence, hopes Sharon is back on her meds and exits the scene just as Phyllis enters with an accusation. Sharon is out of control. Phyllis waits no time telling Nick about her run-in with Sharon at the club, recounting how she kept her cool despite Sharon's issues. Nick is relieved Phyllis didn't go into full-on confrontation mode, but Phyllis is adamant. Something has to be done about Sharon. As Sharon's behavior is increasingly alarming, Phyllis urges Nick to consider drastic measures like checking her into Fairview. Nick, trying to reason with Phyllis, emphasizes that Sharon's struggles are connected to her trauma over Cassie's death. However, Phyllis is unconvinced and warns Nick that Sharon's instability is putting everyone at risk. Meanwhile, at Daniel's apartment, a father-daughter confrontation unfolds as Daniel discovers Lucy has put her phone on airplane mode, disabling the tracking app he installed for her safety. Their relationship is strained, with Lucy rebelling against her punishments and feeling like her parents are overreacting. After a tense conversation, Daniel leaves Lucy with instructions to finish her letter to Faith, but Lucy immediately calls Faith, pleading for a meeting before things get worse. Faith, hesitant but concerned, agrees to meet Lucy at Daniel's apartment. When they meet, Lucy expresses her frustration with the consequences she's facing and blames Sharon for making things worse. Faith tries to offer perspective, explaining that their parents are trying to help them, but Lucy remains defiant. As the conversation unfolds, Faith advises Lucy to consider professional help, but Lucy resists, convinced that everyone is blowing the situation out of proportion. Back at Sharon's house, Mariah is on a mission to uncover the truth about her mother's medication. After calling out for Sharon and receiving no response, she starts searching for the meds. Just as Mariah is walking through the living room, Sharon unexpectedly arrives, forcing Mariah to quickly cover her tracks by claiming she was there to borrow a necklace from Faith. Sharon's tense behavior doesn't go unnoticed, but when she steps into the kitchen, Mariah seizes the opportunity to check Sharon's purse only to find a bottle of ibuprofen. Sharon returns to the living room, apologizing for her earlier outburst. She vents about being accosted by Lucy and running into Phyllis and Heather, revealing her deep frustration with the constant reminders of the past. After a brief exchange, Sharon dismisses Mariah, leaving her daughter more worried than ever. As Sharon lies down to rest, her dreams take a dark and emotional turn. She envisions Nick kissing her awake, with Cassie miraculously reappearing, all grown up. In this surreal fantasy, Sharon is briefly reunited with the family she lost, but the dream takes a chilling twist when the memory of Daniel Romality's tragic death surfaces. Sharon is left with the haunting realization that her life would have been very different if Daniel hadn't crossed paths with Cassie that fateful night. Awaking from the dream, Sharon confides in Cameron, who seems to embody her darker thoughts. Cameron confirms Sharon's feelings, insisting that Daniel's death would have prevented the tragedies that followed. As Sharon processes these disturbing thoughts, her fragile state of mind becomes increasingly apparent. Back at Crimson Lights, Phyllis remains determined to protect her family from Sharon's erratic behavior. She confronts Nick, warning him that Sharon's actions have crossed a line, especially when it comes to Lucy. Nick admits that Sharon's recent behavior is troubling, but he's hesitant to take extreme measures. Phyllis, however, is unwavering in her belief that Sharon is a danger, leaving Nick in a difficult position. At Daniel's apartment, Faith and Lucy's conversation reaches a breaking point. Faith tells Lucy that their friendship may no longer be healthy, especially given Lucy's recent behavior and drinking. Despite Lucy's protest, Faith insists that it's time for her to move on and find new friends. Lucy, feeling betrayed, lashes out, accusing Faith of siding with Sharon and her parents. Faith determined to help Lucy suggests that she seek professional guidance before things get worse. So. As the episode comes to a close, the question surrounding Sharon's mental health continues to loom large. 
Is she truly taking her medication or is there something more sinister at play? With Phyllis threatening to take matters into her own hands and Mariah growing increasingly concerned, the stage is set for a dramatic confrontation that could change the lives of everyone involved. Stay tuned to The Young and the Restless to see how these gripping storylines unfold.